So we're delighted to have with us today Professor Paul Fairchild from Oxford University and he's going to be giving a seminar uh, today um, on pluripotent stem cells and I'm just going to ask a couple of questions um, to give people a taster for what you'll be saying today. Um, the, the full title for today is Pluripotent Stem Cells, Medical Dream or Ethical Nightmare. And I was wondering whether the truth is actually maybe somewhere in the middle or a combination of both. Well, I think you're right, actually. It is a combination of the two. I mean, certainly they are a medical dream in many ways. The actual properties of embryonic stem cells and uh, this new population of induced pluripotent stem cells means that they could potentially be used to treat a whole range of different disease states of degenerative and chronic diseases. And of course we're seeing an, an enormous increase in the uh, prevalence of these kinds of diseases because of the uh, aging nature of the population. So certainly they are truly a medical dream, but at the same time they really are an ethical nightmare, which is something which I, I hope I will touch upon in the, uh, in the lecture this afternoon. And of course the major issue that we have to grapple with with embryonic stem cells is ultimately the destruction of human embryos, which are surplus to requirements from IVF clinics. And that, of course, is the absolute crux of the whole ethical dilemma. Yeah. I noticed that in part of your um, talk today, you'll be addressing, and I quote, um, your personal journey of reconciling a deep Christian faith with the moral dilemmas raised by reproductive and stem cell uh, technologies. Um, I wondered whether there was a particular moment in your past or a particular insight from another person or something that helped you on that journey. Well, I think I'd probably have to point to... Uh, uh, my conversion at the age of 18 when I first left home and went to university to study natural sciences uh, because that was a very dramatic incident in my life. It changed my life completely and it was really as a result of that that I realized that God actually had interest in and gave value to every single individual, every individual whether born or not yet born. And of course, that has a, an important implication in this whole field of stem cell biology. Yeah, um, just finally, um, what is your sense of how a religious uh, perspective, uh, I suppose speaking in general terms, can make a helpful contribution to the public debate in the UK about the use of stem cells and the associated ethical concerns? Mm. Well, I think it's actually essential that Christians are very much involved in the ethical debate around stem cell biology. Certainly it has become significantly simpler over the last few years because of this new technology of induced pluripotency. So we're not facing quite the same ethical and moral dilemmas that we might once have done. But nevertheless, I think there are ethical issues, and it is important that Christians are involved in, uh, in that debate. I remember when I first became involved in the whole field of stem cell biology, being very concerned about the ethics, and going to, uh, to meet with David Cook, who was responsible for setting up the moral maze and uh, asking him about the ethics, and I was uh, disturbed to find that he had no more idea about the ethics than I did, but the one piece of advice that, he, advice that he actually gave me, which I think was very important, was not to leave the field of stem cell biology, because he felt that it was extremely important that there was a Christian witness within that whole field. And so often when Christians uh, inadvertently get involved in areas which have ethical dilemmas, they tend to leave it, and unfortunately that leaves the whole field without any Christian witness. So I think it is extremely important that Christians are involved in all of these debates, however ethically difficult they may be. Professor Paul Fairchild, thanks very much.